Hi everyone, back to channel. Today we are going to see the Clostridium perfringens. Actually, it's a morphologically and staining property first one. It is a large gram-positive rod with capsules, spores are oval, subterminal in position and then narrower than the cells. So the spores are in subterminal in position and they are obligatory anaerobes. They do not require any oxygen. They can live only in the anaerobic conditions. So the culturing property are the biochemical reactions inside the cells are very active and they are growing fast. And you can see the sea perfringent colonies exhibit a double zone of hemolysis on the uh, blood agar. You can see the double zone on the blood agar. And in milk medium, it is presented as stormy fermentation because of the production of large amount of gas. It also produces a large amount of gas, so it uh, gives a milky, stormy fermentation. And the pathogenesis is the spores are widespread in soil in the form of spore, of course. The portal of entry is usually a wound site. So actually, the spores, you know, deep inside the soil, there is anaerobic condition. So whenever uh, in your gardening or anything, by mistake, if it get cuts the wound with that infected spores it they enter into the body and the germination of spores is favored by the necrotic tissue and poor blood supply in the wound so whenever they get entered in our wound because of it is necrotic tissue as uh, everything is damaged and less oxygen it is favorable condition for its growth and the virulence factors are producing a variety of toxins they produce at least 12 kinds of toxins so the degradative enzymes produce a gas in the tissues and infection process rapidly so nothing but they uh, they can cause the gas gangrene they look like cellulitis but uh, don't confuse with cellulitis and gas gangrene this gas gangrene spreads all over and it may also be fatal if it is untreated immediately and they also cause tachycardia and leading to death the clinical findings is this sea fibrin just causes two distinct diseases there is a gas gangrene and food poison actually food poisoning is mild uh, because uh, food when it is put in the warm condition it is ingested by us it may lead to vomiting uh, loose fecus etc but it should also be treated uh, but hydration is the only thing no antibiotics are used but in this case of perfringes which causes uh, gas gangrene it is dangerous it should be treated immediately and depending on the route of entry into the body so the typical diseases is a gas gangrene and uh, this the pain edema necrosis occur in the wound area gas and fluid field so the shock renal failure death can also ensue the mortality rates are high infection proceeded rapidly untreated cases fatal within several days so you can see how the gas gangrene is spreading all over the body elaborated diagnosis is as soon as possible smears of the tissue and exudate samples show the large gram positive rods so see perfringes colonies exhibit a double zone of hemolysis on blood agar this is an important point and the principles and prevention and treatment immediate and through debridement debridement hydrogen peroxide solution and the treatment is immediate and through debridement if debridement does not work then amputation is a choice so penicillin g is an antibiotic of choice given for this so this is all about the perfect changes